Rice is a staple food in Nigeria, and a major of it, which is about eight cups, sells for over 700 naira in the north central state of Nasarawa. On the high side, for a state which is one of the major producers of the grain in the country. While the price continues to rise with the growing demand, the single largest rice farm in the country, located in Rukubi community of Duma local government area of the state, is submerged by flood. Weeks now, the water is yet to recede. Olam Farm uses water from River Benue for irrigation, but this time, even the nine meters tall dike and the watering equipment could not stop the water. Authorities say they have preventive measures in place, but the impact of climate change hit harder this time. The farm can only be accessed using boats or canoes, as the chief agronomist takes our crew on a guided tour. We are moving on thousands of hectares of cultivated rice farm lands, which has now become an extension of the River Benway, sort of. Over 20,000 tons of paddy was expected. Food security is threatened here, and the scarcity of rice looms, especially as the ban on the importation of rice is still on. The entire 426 hectares of Olam rice farm, Rukubi, is submerged by the flood. We are expected to commence harvesting by 26th of October, but that is no longer there again. And we are expected to harvest uh, 4.5 tons per hectare from the 4,426 hectares. That is already gone. Over 7,000 hectares of rice farmlands cultivated by rice producing communities in Doma and other areas are still under the waters. Farming communities in Doma are displaced. The people ferry what they can on canoes as they now reside on sections of the dikes of Ulam farms that are still standing. Farming put on hold. Farmers seek shelter as they build their shanties. And fishing is what they do now. <laughs> Olam has a milling capacity of 240,000 metric tons per year. With this incident, the authorities say its production capacity will be affected. This damage to the farm, uh, we are uh, suspecting that our uh, milling outputs could go by around 30% in the coming year. Of course, uh, we'll be able to recover if, uh, depending uh, upon the situation all around the country, uh, how much of the crop has been affected or damaged. With the flood, Nasarawa's rice production capacity, and by extension that of the country, has been largely affected by this natural disaster, which is spread across other rice producing states. Halima Gayam, Channels Television News.